welcome to part two of Google Translate Interface. Let's take my previous sentence, which was, I get up early and go to bed late. The translation of which is, me levanto temprano y me acuesto tarde, in Spanish. So, a good technique is to switch the languages so that you can see if the translation is correct. So. I'm going to press swap languages and I'm going to paste in the Spanish sentence. It says here, did you mean? Me levanto temprano y me acuesto tarde. Let's put an accent on the O in levanto. Google Translate suspects a spelling error here, which is in fact incorrect. This is where the user has to know the grammar to ascertain whether to correct the sentence or leave it as it is. Now, if I click on the word early in Spanish, we can look at the word used in a variety of sentences, just as we did before in English. And we can also see how it translates into English. This is helpful to see how frequently the translation appears in English. And we can see some rare translations, which are in fact archaic translations, which would most likely be seen in classic English literature. If I were translating archaic texts, I might choose one of these translations. This is where the user needs some knowledge to make educated choices. Now let's look at a different sentence. Swap the languages back to English. So, I like to leave a large tip. Now, notice the change if I do not add a period at the end of the sentence and when I do. The period changes the translation slightly, both of which are correct but have a slight difference in meaning. So, a large tip versus a good tip. Let's change the sentence slightly to, I often leave a tip. The sentence looks correct, but the verb has been changed to a reflexive verb. And while this grammatically might be correct, it would be unusual perhaps to leave a tip for yourself. If we click on the translation, we can see a menudo me is the translation of I often. Maybe because I often is often, followed by a verb that is reflexive, such as I often get up, I often go to bed. So if I click on this, a menudo me, I can correct the translation from the list of options below. Okay. When I contribute, I am contributing to the human translation database. If I change the sentence slightly again, I often leave a good tip. Now, the vocabulary word for tip has changed from tip meaning gratuity to tip meaning advice. Again, the user must review the parts of the translated sentence to determine if it is correct. The user cannot assume it is correct. So, I'm going to copy, clear, swap, paste. Okay, so if we look at it from Spanish to English, it looks like this is correct. However, if I click on consejo, I can see it translated here as advice. This is the most common translation along with counsel. However, if I wanted to mean tip meaning gratuity is incorrect. Let's switch back to English as the first language. When I click on tip, this time the most common translation English to Spanish is propina, meaning gratuity, rather than tip meaning advice. Here there are synonyms, bakshish, gratification, perquisite, ducer and tip. A little obscure, bakshish is a bribe, I think, in Arabic. Gratification is similar to gratuity. Uh, perquisite, um, you have the word perk come from it. And dusa, I believe, is a bribe or a tip. So you would have to look these words up, perhaps. But this indicates 
tip meaning money, which is what we want. You can look underneath at different translations to see if it, any of these fit. So punta, meaning the end, head, point, no. Extremidad, so we have end, extremity, extreme and edge. Again, this doesn't fit. Here we have consejo, which means advice and counsel, and it goes down to less common translations. So I'm actually going to change this to propina because I want it to mean gratuity. And although the vocabulary word is correct, it has left the indefinite article incorrect because it's a romance language. All articles must agree with the noun. So I would click on this and I can see una here. It also has les, meaning to them. So instead of saying I often leave a good tip, I often leave them a good tip. And it could be assumed that because I'm leaving it to waiters or waitresses perhaps, that this is correct. Although it may be correct in an isolated sentence, is if this is part of a paragraph, it must agree with what has gone before. So if I was talking about giving a tip to one person, this sentence would in fact be incorrect because this would have to be le, meaning to one person, which is not in fact an option here. So we'd have to change it manually. However, if I talked about wait staff plural in my previous sentence, this would be correct. So I can contribute it. So I can change the sentence to fit my purpose. So I think two important takeaways are one, this tool is only as good as the user. And two, the accuracy rate depends on the pair of languages as well as the type of writing. I'll see you in the next video.